Welcome, everyone. And I'd like to especially welcome not only all our viewers on Salt and Light, but Father Dominic Clovis, who is from the Diocese of Toronto, visiting with us with 15 pilgrims who are here this, uh, this, Sunday, uh, this week. It is the memorial of St. Augustine of Hippo, and our Mass intention is, for, uh, is offered in memory of Mr. Assis Francis da Costa, and his second death anniversary from his wife, Teresa da Costa, and daughter, Annalis da Costa. So we begin our celebration with the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our failures and ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners, Christe eleison. You were seen And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Renew in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you endowed your bishop, St. Augustine, that filled with the same spirit, we may thirst for you, the sole font of true wisdom, and seek you, the author of heavenly love, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Now concerning love of the brothers and sisters, you do not need to have anyone write to you, for you yourselves have been taught by God to love one another and indeed you do love all the brothers and sisters throughout Macedonia. But we urge you, beloved, to do so more and more, to aspire to live quietly, to mind your own affairs, and to work with your hands as we directed you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. God. Sing together for joy. Re 
rejoice at the presence of the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus told this parable to the disciples. The kingdom of heaven will be like this. It is as if a man going on a journey summoned his slaves and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. The one who had received the five talents went off at once and traded with them and made five more talents. In the same way, the one who had two talents made two more talents. But the one who had received the one talent went off and dug a hole in the ground and hid the master's money. After a long time, the master of those slaves came and settled accounts with them. Then the one who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five more talents, saying, Master, you handed over to me five talents. See, I have made five more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy servant. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. And the one with two talents came forward, saying, Master, you handed over to me two talents. See, I have made two more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Then the one who had received the one talent also came forward, saying, Master, I knew that you were a harsh man, reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you did not scatter seed. So I was afraid and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here, you have yours, what is yours? But the master replied, you wicked and lazy slave. You knew, did you, that I reap where I did not sow and gather where I did not scatter. Then you ought to have invested any money or my money with the bankers. And on my return, I would have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to the one with the 10 talents for to all those who have more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. As for this worthy, worthless slave, throw him into the other darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I buried what you gave me. Do we excuse ourselves from doing things to help the poor, the suffering, or the elderly because we think we have nothing much to give them? 
Today's reading from the gospel, Lord, is to help us realize that if we can't do great things, we can at least do little things in a great way. And I mention this because it ties in beautifully with the memorial that we celebrate today of St. Augustine of Hippo. Paul encourages the people. He says, you know, that what, we, uh, what keeps us from, sh from shooting for the stars, and here I'm reminded of a poem, the British poet, novelist William uh, Darkley, also wrote the name under John Oxenham. One of his poems is especially provocative. A paragraph reads from it, it goes like this. To everyone there opens a way, a highway and a low way. The high soul takes the highway, the low soul takes the low. And in between on the misty flats, the rest drift to and four. But to everyone there opens a way, a highway and a low way, and everyone decides the way his soul should go. Paul viewed Christian life in the same way. The only valid choice Christians have is to shoot for the stars. Anything else is unworthy of their calling. What keeps us from shooting for the stars? Some die, or some men die by shrapnel. Some go down in flames but most men perish inch by inch playing little games. It is so in keeping with the, what we celebrate today. St. Augustine is best known for the story of his conversion to Christianity. As a young man, he tasted all the fruits of this life and it was never satisfied. In his yearning for truth, he first encountered Christ through the words of scripture and then in a more personal and life-changing manner in his own prayer. Noted for his wisdom and learning, Augustine bears witness to the truth of St. Paul's words, that in Christ we have been taught to love one another. As we celebrate this Mass, let us ask the Lord to give us that grace, the grace that he endowed St. Augustine, the grace to love one another and to love Christ above all.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us the sign of unity and the bond of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the festival of St. Augustine, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your, of your praise, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Christian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And in a very special way today, we remember Mr. Assis Francis da Costa on the second anniversary of his death. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the power, power, and the glory, glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with and your spirit. Let us offer each other the side of peace. 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 You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. This world and changed its finer things. Yet were these not in you, they would not have been. My ceaseless longing hid the deeper truth in all my desires. See? 
my deafness, you cried out to me. I draw my breath, and now your fragrance I breathe. O fount of life, you are forever the same. O fire of love, come and set me Let us pray. May partaking of Christ's table sanctify us, we pray, O Lord, that being made members of his body, we may become what we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord we be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, our Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.